The 0-1 is drilled to left field. That's going to be down. It's an RBI for Jackson Hauge. And a picture-perfect start to the game for the St. Cloud Rocks. They are up 1-0 on a single that was absolutely laced. Both runners take off. Swing and a miss from Higdon. The throw to third is into left field. Stokes couldn't get it at third base. It goes into left field. What a had Perry. If the tag could have been applied, but he gets up and scampers on home. A 2-1 home is driven to right field. Way back it goes. A no-doubter for Carter Hansen, and just like that, it is 4-0 St. Cloud. Five against him. 3-2, swing and a miss. He played in five games for the Big Sticks this season before coming over to St. Cloud. This one's driven out to left field. Back to the track is Swanson. He will watch it fly. A solo shot for Gunnar Hansen and welcome to St. Cloud as he goes deep in his first at bat on the rocks. mentioned you had the reset day yesterday forget about what happened earlier in the series and just focus on tonight's game if you're Heineck. Swing and a miss Thompson pulls the string on the 3-2 in the Big Ten Conference. The 1-2 though is swung on and missed back-to-back -back strikeouts for Brent Thompson to start the second strikeout number three. First pitch is on the ground to short. It'll actually be Stokes who picks it up. Throw to first is well off the bag. It pulls Siegel away, gets out of play. Everybody's going to move up. That scores two runs on the play. Breeze blowing dead out to center. Another 3-2, strike three called. Swanson thought he walked for the second time. Both of them called strikes, and it's a strikeout to start the top, excuse me, the bottom of the fourth. That's one of those back door. Manager Freddie Smith thinks of those Cornhuskers that came in. This one is heading for the gap, and Barbieri lays out. Did he catch that? Yes, he did. Oh, my goodness. Francesco Barbieri robbed extra bases and likely a run. You can see that one on SportsCenter later tonight. Strikeout and a walk. He pops this one into shallow, now drifting into deeper right field. Lopez at, makes the catch in right field, tagging up. The throw home is not in time. A laser from Derek Lopez in right field. Thought he had Barbieri at the dish, but the speed just able to dive in safe. Material for swinging. One, two, swing and a miss. Gross pulls the string. Five for 11 in the regional. Swing and a miss on the one, two. Another strikeout for Tommy Gross, and that ends the sixth inning. Eight to two now. St. Cloud leads. You're watching the Northwoods League Sports Network. Georgia Tech guy this spring. Jake Perry, the first pitch he sees, sends this one out to center. Back it goes to the wall. It's off the rough side in center field. Winterstein tracks it down. Throw into second, not in time. It's extra bases for Jake Perry on the first pitch of the ninth inning. 2-1 to Hauge on the ground, a third base, good pickup by Stokes, long throw to first, and it's over the head of Whitman at first base. Goes out of play, the run will come home, so Jake Perry scores on the errant throw from Rhett Stokes, second time we've seen the ball get away from him tonight. 